is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys my March book haul talking about some of the books that I bought and received in the month of March. first three books I talked about them in depth in my wrap-up that just recently went up so that is The Wicked Deep or Stormy and Orange Future. I bought all of these this month, last month actually because I'm behind on filming, yay. So I talk about these in my wrap-up and what they're about but The Wicked Deep is like a new fantasy book about witches and it's about the swan sisters and the drowning of these girls and then people go missing every year and Restore Me the fourth book in the Shatter Me series. I'm sure you've heard about it by now. And Orange Future is the third little last installment of the Orange Manga series. So this was in the Page Habit box, I forget which month, the one that Lala curated. And so I got The Apocalypse of Elenum. Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson. I love We Are the Ants. Dylan loves this. I'm excited to read this and it has the annotations in it by the author because it was in that box. So I'm very excited about this. All I know is I believe we have a bisexual main character 16 year old Elena Mendoza is the product of a virgin birth so I think we have a bisexual main character there's a bit of like magical realism components to it and that's kind of all I really want to know about it. <laughs> Next up is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third and final installment in the Illuminae file series book one being Illuminae and then Gemini and now Obsidio which just came out and it's beautiful by the way <laughs> like look how cute. Mm. Anyways, deeply the series is a YA sci-fi series that is told in documents and files and video camera footage and it's a very cool way to tell the story and I did enjoy book one and two so I'm excited to pick up Obsidio. I actually did start reading it but then I just wasn't in the mood for it so I put it aside but I'm hoping to finish this one eventually. <laughs> Next up here I have Tyler Johnson was here by Jake Coles. This is um, a recent release. I've been hearing excellent things about this and won the the cover though. Who I'm I was so shook. <laughs> Did I just say shook? Ew. <laughs> so this is about a boy who was shot by a police officer. So it deals with police brutality and it's a contemporary novel. I'm looking forward to picking this one up. It's very short and I wanna really want to educate myself more on this topic. So yeah, and it's been getting great reviews recently too. The book that I was sent, and I was sent this by Andrews McMeal Publishing, and that is She Felt Like Nothing by R.H. Sun. So this is a poetry collection, and it's a bit of a different vibe from his other ones. It personally wasn't my favorite. I talk about it more in my wrap-up, but it's, it has a little bit of a different vibe. And I did quite like it. It wasn't my favorite, but I did enjoy it, and I'm so happy that they sent me an early copy of this because I love R.H. Sun. I think you know that. Next up is what I received in the Nocturnal Readers box for March. So it came with The Gone World by Tom Sweaterlinch. It was, it's blurbed by Blake Crouch, the author of Dark Matter. So maybe that interests you because he's quite popular. She had been warned she would see things her mind wouldn't understand. So a special agent. I don't know much about this one. I don't really want to know. All I know is it's just a thriller, a horror kind of book. And yeah, probably gonna be inserted in another video, but I'm going to be opening the uppercase March box bag, whatever. I was sent this by them, so thank you so much to them again for sending this over to me. I'm super excited to see what it is. Don't know what the book's gonna be. Don't know anything about this, but let's hope it's good, but it probably will be, so I'm not worried because last time I loved their goodies, so. Okay. We have this little necklace right here. Open this after and see what the, what, why the necklace? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like such a strange human today. Don't mind me. Okay, so first is a magnet that has a cat on it and it says bookish. That is the cutest thing ever. Look at that. <laughs> I really like that. I love how they think my name is Julie. Like that happens to me all the time, but still, come on up, Ricky. <laughs> this is a journal and it's from Spoon Reads. It says right this minute. And it's just a lined journal. That's cute, that's cute. Good, I always need more journals in my life. And then the book, I don't think I've heard of this. It is, oh my God, the cover. <laughs> Ink, Iron, and Glass by Gwendolyn Clare. Oh my god. 
our what our best weapons are words it's signed as well an assassin arrives in this thrilling debut worlds collide as elsa and Veils a deep political conspiracy seeking to unlock the most dangerous weapon ever created and only she can stop it. That's actually really cool. I haven't even heard of this book and it sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this one actually. Like last month, um, what was it that came? Last month, The Queen's Rising came, which was cool. But I wasn't as excited for it as I am excited for this. This one sounds really cool and more like a fantasy kind of book that I'm going to be interested in. Technically, maybe it's urban fantasy because like they go back into the real world. But then, I don't know. I'll find out. But this is awesome. And then it comes signed. And there's certain codes for page numbers. You get that when you order from Uppercase. So, in the box we got... The book, which is Ink, Iron, and Glass by Gwendolyn Clare, which is signed. We got the Swoon Reads Journal. The necklace. The necklace, which is actually a little comma. And then a bookish magnet, which was the little cat one. So that's really cool. So this story is set in a steampunk inspired Italy where new worlds are created with ink and paper. This novel is original and exciting and I hope you agree. Happy reading. Yeah. I'm just going to swing you guys over to a clip of me unboxing the March Page Habit box. And I, I am now an ambassador for Page Habit, which is so cool. So I have all my links down below and you can use a code to get a discount. Make sure to check it out. Really cool because I did a battle of the subscription box video and they were one of the ones that I was most impressed with. And so it was super cool that now I'm an ambassador for them, which is cool. But enough with that. <laughs> yes, clip. So we have another spontaneous clip and I just received the page habit box for March. A letter from the author, I already know what the book is, but I'll put that to the side. First up we have like leather stickers, design your own personalized look. So you can put these on your bag, on a purse. These colorful embossed self adhesive stickers can be used to sticker up anything from handbags, jeans to your phone or notebooks. That's cool. I probably will use like the lighting belt one on my phone, maybe. Next is a cable photo holder. That's, that I'm really excited about actually. Cause I love little stuff like this. And then there's an adult coloring book. Colorful, relaxing, stress-free flower fairies. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look, it has like little fairy designs in it. Then you get the card, so where the donation went. So this month was Kenya, that's really nice. Um, you also get this month's picks. So you could get the mystery box, the romance box, the historical fiction, the horror, whatever you want. I got the horror last time, this one's the YA. And you also get a short story. So this one's called The Appointment. Oh, so this, I actually own this book. This is A Study in Charlotte. It's a little, um, I don't even know what to call this. It's a little, promo card card for a study in charlotte and the rest of the series which these are a sherlock and a watson and sherlock holmes retelling so then we have the book which i knew this was it and i'm so happy about it because i wanted like i was gonna buy this book anyways so that makes me so happy so look inside for my annotations so if you don't know there includes annotations and their sticky notes and yes i just mm, love so this is the poet, a novel by Elizabeth Ace Veto. So when she's invited to join her school, okay, so it's about this girl. Ever since her body grew into curves, she has learned to let her fists and do the and her fearness to do the talking. She wanted to say, okay, so she pours all her frustration into a leather notebook. Her school slam poetry club. She knows that she can never get around, she can never get around the rules to attend, much less speak her words out loud. But still, she can't stop thinking about performing her poems. So yeah, it's about, it's literally about a poet. It sounds great. I'm so excited about it. I've heard really good things about this so far. And it looks like it's written, it's written in verse. Nice. Or it's like, yeah. It's like Ellen Hopkins kind of style too. 
that's really nice. I'm really excited about this. That was my book haul for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on any of these books, if you've read them, if you've enjoyed them, maybe what some, some of your recent buys have been book-wise. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe, it's down below. If you want to click on the bell, it's there. All my social medias are down below as well. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Here I find what it takes